Wade and Wade reacts. This is our review for the Acolyte episode three. We're gonna get into what we liked and what we disliked. And at the end, if this show even broke Star Wars, or was everybody on the internet just making a fuss? When it comes to Acolyte episode three, there's really nothing about it that you can like. This story denigrated the title or the franchise really of Star Wars. Messed up and misconstrued what the force is. This group had their own interpretation of the force, which actually deviates from how the force was defined in previous films, therefore breaking canon. You have these two mothers of the twins that when they conversed about the conception of the twins made it seem like that these two girls were the first born of the force, mm -hmm. which makes obsolete the prophecy that Anakin Skywalker was the first to be born of the force and that was the sign of him being the chosen one. Then you have at the end of the episode, the Jedi Master seemingly telling a lie to Osha yeah. about what happened to all of the mothers <laughs> that raised her and her sister, that, that, what do you call it, the haven or guild of witches, I could say. They were all dead at the end of the episode, and she asked him what happened. He said, well, May started the fire, and the fire killed the witches and your mother, your two mothers. And so it was just from beginning to end terrible. Even the soundtrack was like, what is this? This is not Star Wars. Star Wars has a unique soundtrack that signifies to the viewer at the beginning of the episode or at the beginning of the movie or series that this is Star Wars. This music sounded like it belonged in some medieval time movie. It sounded like it belonged in The Witcher, one of the songs that they would sing. Yeah, some type of fantasy show. Yeah, some type of <laughs> fantasy show. But it doesn't sound, it didn't sound like it belonged. Matter of fact, it did not belong in a Star Wars series. I got more, but I'm gonna switch it over. <laughs> yeah, I agree with everything you said. As far as the interpretation of the forest that the mothers had or the witches, whatever you want to call them, I didn't have a problem with that, with them having their own interpretation of the force. We've seen other people that had their own interpretation of the force. My only problem was the, with the creativity Mm -hmm. of the force because at first I was looking like okay they talk but when they start talking about the threads that you know rung off some bells from another property that is just called the will of time mm -hmm. that's how they refer to their magic it's, it's through the pulling of threads and I was like okay that's a lot of um, you know that's not creative right there you read the will of time and you want to incorporate that into Star Wars and then this show was just this episode was just boring it was. And like, when, when streaming first came out, it felt like he was watching a movie that was like spread out. Like, you know when the director posts a movie, but, mm -hmm. or puts out a movie, but he doesn't fill in you the, with the deleted scenes or the extra story that they wrote? Yeah. That's what streaming in the beginning felt like. But this is just sloth. And then I have a problem with the lightsaber. This is a nitpick. Why are the lightsaber handles so big? Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> this is like something you get from the Galaxy Edge at Disney. Like, why the lightsaber to be slim because they're supposed to be an elegant weapon right, so you can right. actually move them around. And then, like you said, going back to the uh, that <clears throat> Master Soul, when he told that lie, we know that's not what happened because mm -hmm. in episode three, or two, I mean, when they killed the Jedi, I can't even remember his name because none of the characters in the show are rememberable at all. So when they killed that Jedi Master, he was older, his hairline was receding, he drunk the poison. He had a scar on his face at the end of this episode. We know that one of the mothers, this probably was gonna happen, one of the mothers gonna get hot-headed, and because the, the, the leader was like, she was keeping the, the what, what do they call it, the Dathomir type of uh, species. Yeah. They're like she was keeping her under control, because she didn't even want the girls to go take that test with the mm -hmm. Jedi. So I'm thinking what they're gonna get into a little army, because they already tried to possess the paddle one's mind. Yeah. And so, and I saw on the trailer, the Wookiee was fighting that guy. So I think they're gonna they're gonna control his mind again, and some kind of fight is gonna happen, and they're gonna end up, them witches are gonna end up dying, and that's cool. But this episode 
cannot stand on its own because it kind of slows the plot down. Exactly. This should have just been flashbacks. Right. And it should have been a brief flashback. You can fit all of that into like a two to three minute flashback. Summarize what happened in Osha's and May's childhood. You don't need to create a whole episode about it because like you said, all it did was cause this series to drag. This is different than a movie. This is a series. So you got to keep the action rolling and we only got what, eight episodes? Yeah. So you got to keep it going. So the best way to handle it is, I agree, to use flashbacks and keep them brief. Yeah, I wouldn't even have a problem if they did this episode if it was like a 15 episode series. But this, y'all got eight, y'all playing around. And then it was, man, that this was like show was just wasn't Star Wars at all. Remember when the little girls were receiving the power from the sky or wherever they were receiving the power from? And they was actually singing what the lady said. One becomes two, two becomes all. Uh, like, bro, what is going yeah. on? <laughs> I was like, bro, this is corny. This is lame. This ain't got nothing to do with Star Wars. This is not Star Wars. They're singing one lady in the back. Yee! Like, bro, this, this does not happen in the world of Star Wars. And then the little girl wanted to be, is it, is it May or is that Osha? Osha. Yeah, Osha wanted to be a Jedi with no explanation. As far as we know, the Jedi didn't even have a, had any contact with the witch coven until that night when they showed up. Yeah. They should have done a much better job on establishing how Osha found out about the Jedi. She should have at least seen them passing through their planet or the market that they frequent. That would have made a lot of sense. She would have seen them been fascinated like, oh man, I want to be one of those. Yeah, and I don't feel like this story is big enough either. It's too small for Star Wars. This is not a Star Wars story. Most Star Wars stories are grandiose, big, you know, larger than life. That's what get, I think that's what gives Star Wars that event feel. Mm -hmm. And every Disney Plus show needs to feel like an event. Every episode, too. You, you mean to tell me I had to wait a whole week for this? Like, no, I, I, didn't, I don't want to wait a week for this. This is not what y'all promised me on the trailer. Y'all promised me a lot of secrecy. A lot of uh, dark side uh, perspective. When we get the show, it's not that. It's about two young girls with a Jedi. They feel like one of them feels like the Jedi betrayed them. The other one doesn't really know what's going on. And mm -hmm. then some type of mysterious acolyte. And like you said, the acolyte might be somebody from the, um, you know, where they came from. And I hope that's not the, the I hope it's an actual Sith apprentice or something like that. Yeah, me too, because that wouldn't make sense. That would have to mean that one of the witches escaped when the Jedi slaughtered the Coven. One of them had to escape or there was a higher ranked witch than the mother. Yeah. That has to be the case. And I don't like the portrayal of the Jedi on the on shows. Like, man, if you had some kids, hide them. Like the dude, it was the dude in the anti and said, you got to put the kids yeah, up. Kids. Yeah, because the Jedi coming to get them. You uh -huh. ain't got no choice. The Jedi say, hey, y'all got some kids, got some force? Hey, we want them. And you ain't got no say so. And the, and the thing is, they told them like, hey, we outside of the Republic. The Jedi ain't care. They still trying to take the kids. And then another thing too, I thought the Jedi didn't train you after a certain age because I thought in episode one, they didn't even want to train Anakin because he was like nine. Yeah, that's Aren't true. Aren't they around the same age? And that's true. So the Jedi be like, okay, y'all got the force, but we don't want y'all to go. Exactly. The Jedi were portrayed as a group that is out for their own interests. The Jedi is subject to the laws of the Republic. So if they were truly outside of the Republic's jurisdiction, they wouldn't go ahead and try to take those kids from the witches unless there was some type of incentive for them to do that. Or they were suspicious of the rise of the Sith from this witch coping. Yeah, that, that, would, that would have been good. But this this episode right here, I mean, I, I already didn't have any hope for this series, but this episode really was a stinker. It just really put me all the way in a sour mood. Just brought my mood all the way down here. So from a scale of whack to masterpiece, where do you rank this? Man, this was whack. This was garbage. This was not Star Wars. This is whatever the writer wants it to be. This, this is her creation with the title Star Wars so that she can sell her own work. 
This ain't got nothing to do with the franchise of Star Wars. It already broke canon in the trailer. We didn't even have to see the series for that. And on top of that, it's trash, it's whack. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say this series is whack. Every Disney Plus show is worse than the last one. Every single last one. And speaking on what you said, that this already broke canon, that's the crazy part. Cause people lose their minds over episode three and how they use the force. They still gotta explain how the Sith is out in the in open in the open, and they can't say, "Hey, this is an acolyte right here. This is the Sith." Why you got a red lightsaber? The mm -hmm. Jedi know that the Sith are associated with red lightsabers, so that's if they weren't going to be an actual Sith, they shouldn't have had a red lightsaber. Should have exactly. gave them a different color. True, true. Like, they should have. Yeah, and people talking about this episode is Lord Breaker. Nah, we ain't even, they ain't even ready for what you're gonna see next. Yeah. They ain't even got started yet. They just scratched the tip of the iceberg. They got a lot more. Yeah, and people keep talking about Star Wars. This is going to kill Star Wars. Star Wars is already dead. It's like they said, stop uh -huh. beating a dead horse. That's what they doing. They beating a dead horse. Ain't nothing left. George Lucas in the house crying at what y'all doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, this right here, man. It's the worst thing I've seen in a minute. I thought you couldn't get any lower. Than Secret Invasions. The, the crazy thing is, this is not even it. This ain't even the worst we're gonna see from Star Wars. Somebody else can come out with a show, and it's gonna be worse than this. Mm -hmm. This is only the beginning. <laughs> yeah, really amateur, novice <laughs> level storytelling. Yeah, it is. But hey, that's been our review. Don't forget to comment and tell us what you thought about this episode. Like this video if you did. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share this video, and we're out of here. Peace.